Hello everyone, uh, this is video number three of the Lending Gear series. Today we are modeling the strut component, uh, the one that I'm showing right here. So let's begin. Let me pull up the strut by itself so you can see and follow um, my sketch. So let's create a new part. And let's go to tools and options so we can change the units to millimeters. So next we're going to create a, a cross section here so we can use the revolve command. So let's do a quick sketch on the front plane. I'm going to draw a few center lines for for reference okay so let's start with the <clears throat> top again this is uh this is going to be an uh an approximation of the part we will provide dimensions at the end Just go straight down. And we can close. So now we can start providing the uh, required dimensions. So this one here will make it 50. From here to the bottom. This is uh, 400 total height. This dimension here is 30. Can make this 30. And um, from here to here, this is going to be 80. So little by little, this is uh, starting to get the shape that we want. So this right here, this is supposed to be 15 millimeters. Um, this dimension here will make a five. Now the other dimension that we need is um let's see what we have from here to here so that is in line with the origin point so the other dimension is this one here and this one here we want this to be 35 and then This dimension here to that will make that 40. Okay. Now let's go to the bottom section and um, let's dimension this. We'll make this five. And the distance from here to here. This is going to be um, 22.5. Okay, so it looks like uh, we have all the dimensions. Uh, let me just double check here. So we have the 30 millimeters, 5 millimeters, 50, 15, 80. We have the 40, 35, and um, 22.5. So after we double check the dimensions, we can we can hit OK. And let's use the revolve feature. And we're going to revolve around this line here. And let's hit OK. So this is our 
piston. Uh, next, we will do the. Um, let's do this upper section here. Uh, we're going to select the top lane and let's do a a rough sketch here. So again, I'll provide a um, some center lines for for reference. Let me start with the circle and this is uh, supposed to be 40 millimeters the distance from the circle to the bottom section will make that 30 let's make this to uh, center so make that zero next I'll create a line at the bottom The distance for this is going to be 60 millimeters and I want this to be center I'll make that 30 now I'm going to add some lines to the to the circle and um, I'm going to provide some relationships between these two components. I want that line to be tangent to the circle, so I'll select that and hit OK. Similarly, on the other side, I'll do the same and make it tangent. Now I'll create that middle hole, and and this will be um, this will be 20 millimeters in diameter. So after I have created that, I can trim a few lines that I don't really need. After you do that, we can hit OK. And we are ready to uh, provide the extrusion. The depth or the thickness of this component um, is going to be 30 millimeters. Make sure, th make sure that you select the mid plane under direction one so it can go both direction um, and it can be uh, symmetric let's hit okay next we can work on the bottom section we'll do a pretty similar step we'll we'll do the one side and then we can just mirror the other side okay um, we can use the um, front plane again and let's go to the bottom section let's create a few more center lines and these center lines are going to help us um, dimension all the components easily okay so the first item i want to dimension i want to place is the this outer circle and this is going to be um, according to the dimensions 30 millimeters so first let me define these lines so I want that line to be at 35 from from the bottom section so now this line and the center of the circle I'll make that zero and um, let's create a few more lines here this line we can make this 40 and the distance from that to the center we can make this 30 millimeters and finally I can do I can place that line at the center of that and this is 20 next I'll dimension this circle to the line that we just placed and uh, this dimension is going to be 30 millimeters 
So once we have that, we can just close the uh, the gaps. So we can select the line and put it there. Um, we're going to apply a uh, relationship between these two and we'll make it tangent. Similarly, on the other side, we can do the same, make it tangent. And let's create a, a hole at the middle, which is this one here. This is going to be 15 millimeters. And let's trim. Trim that and this. So once we have that, we can hit OK. And um, let's provide some thickness. Again, make sure that the mid plane is selected. And the thickness for this is going to be 20 millimeters. Hit OK. Since we need the same component on the other side, we can we can mirror this, and the, we're going to mirror about this um, right plane, and hit OK. Next, we need to work on this middle section, and um, the steps are going to be pretty similar. Uh, we are just adding an additional step, which is uh, creating a, a cut in between. So let's go back to the front plane and um, create a sketch. Again, let's create some uh, center lines here. Actually, let's just make one. Um, we can probably use two. Let's use two center lines here. And um, so I want this center line to be at 100 millimeters from the center, from the top section. And I can start sketching my my circle. So this is going to be uh, 50 50 millimeters in in diameter. Let's apply some dimensions here. So this is going to be zero. Now I'm going to create the other part. This dimension here is 60 and from the center line, I'm going to make this 20. Once you have that, let's let's uh, make that line center to to this center line, and this is thirty. Okay. This dimension here it is sixty, and now we are ready to close the the sketch. So we'll do. Uh, similar steps as the other ones. So let's apply a relationship, make it tangent, and the same thing with the other line. Make that tangent. Finally, let's create a, this is going to be the hole at the middle and um, according to that dimension, this is 15. And let's trim. So all these steps are repetitive. So you can kind of follow what I'm doing. So now let's hit OK and hit OK one more time. Now we're ready for an extrusion. The depth of this is going to be 60. And again, make sure that the direction one is selected as mid plane. Let's hit OK. So if you notice, there is a cut in here. So let's make that cut. Let's go back. Let's go back to the front plane and create another sketch. There are multiple ways that you can create that cut. Um, I'm just going to show you one for now, and we can just create a random rectangle, and let's provide this dimension. So we can make this 70. 
this 80. The, the dimensions, as long as they cover the whole, um, the whole section that we would like to cut, that dimension doesn't matter. So now let's provide a dimension from the center of this part to the edge of the rectangle. So we can make that 40. And the other distance would be this one here. We can make this 20. Okay, so now that we have that, we can create a cut. So I'm just gonna put it like this so you can follow. Extrude a cut and uh, make sure it's mid plane. And we're cutting 30 millimeters and hit OK. And uh, and this is how you we, we, this is how you do um, all these components for the strut. Uh, we need another another cut, and that will be inside the the cylinder. So for that, let's go to the um, let's go to the front plane again, and. Um, Let's create a rectangle like somewhere here. We'll provide a dimension. So we can make this from here to here. We can make that zero. From here to the edge, let's make that five. So we can provide a thickness. Similarly, this is going to be um, 35, and that distance from the bottom is also 5. So after we create the sketch, we can hit OK. And we are going to use the revolve cut. So this is going to create a cut inside the cylinder. So let's use this revolve cut and the direction axis of revolution we're going to pick this and let's hit okay so now if you look inside the cylinder walls are now smooth and you don't see any components these components um, inside the, the the cylinder so that's how you will um, cut through the inside of that. So this is how you will create the, the strut for the landing gear. And I hope you enjoy. And this concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.